Chestnuts, Castania, also referred to as chinquapin and chinquapin, are a nut, a hard-shelled seed of the chestnut. Chestnuts are produced by seven species of tree within the Castania genus. They have creamy white sweet flesh which appears during a number of cuisines, most famously roasted as vacation food. Chestnut trees also provide valuable timber. Chestnuts are often found purchasable during a number of forms, counting on the region of the planet that the buyer is in. During the winter, many countries within the hemisphere have whole fresh chestnuts purchasable, but chestnuts also can be found preserved in water or syrup, or ground into flour. Chestnut benefits important sources of vitamins and minerals, edible chestnuts are a true help to people with physical and intellectual asthenia, convalescents, the elderly, and youngsters. For therapeutic purposes, the harvested parts of the edible chestnut are the bark, flowers, leaves, and seeds. The fruits have an identical composition to the wheat and are a source of carbohydrates, phosphorus, lecithin, and vitamin C. They also contain proteids, fat, calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, zinc, potassium and their caloric value is 200 calories per 100 grams. The gathering of the edible chestnuts happens in late September and early November. Chestnut puree is one among the few products which, heat processed, still maintain a great deal of the vitamins found within the fresh fruit. Properties of chestnut fruit for internal use, you'll use fresh chestnut fruits, which are consumed cooked, boiled, or mashed. Edible chestnuts are recommended for people with physical and intellectual asthenia, convalescents, the elderly, and children because they are rich in minerals and vitamins, less degradable in the preparation process. Therapeutic indications of chestnuts The mixture of mashed chestnuts and cheese, in equal proportions, sweetened with honey, is an easily digestible food and really energizing. Edible chestnut leaves develop a sedative action on respiratory organs and are want to treat bronchitis, infusion form. Used as an infusion, chestnut bark helps in reducing the body's temperature. Chestnuts act as a tonic for the muscles, nerves, and veins and reduce capillary permeability. To treat hemorrhoids, varicose veins, and thrombophlebitis, it is advisable to eat one bowl of sweetened chestnut puree with honey before breakfast and dinner. It is a diet that ought to be kept for several weeks. External use for external uses, very effective are dried chestnuts too. In case of chill blains or rheumatic pain that gets worse when the temperature is low, boil five handfuls of chestnut with three liters of water until is reduced by half. After filtering the resulted decoction, wash the affected area with it, it's best to use a hot decoct, the maximum amount as you'll endure. The application takes 10 to 15 minutes and will be repeated daily until complete healing. In cosmetics, the chestnut honey mask is employed for all skin types, due to its anti-inflammatory properties, reducing capillary fragility, protecting from UV radiation. Also, these masks protect the mucopolysaccharide within the skin and normalize sebaceous follicle secretion. Results are visible especially in delaying the overall process of aging of the skin and revitalizing dry skin, which regains its shape and velvet look. The mask should be kept on the face for half hour and is removed with warm water. Chestnut side effects Edible chestnuts or sweet chestnuts, European chestnut, Castania sativa, American chestnut, Castania dentata, but not horse chestnut, Aesculus hippocastanum, also called buckeye are safe to consume raw with few or no side effects. Raw horse chestnut seed, bark, flower, and leaf are unsafe and may even cause death when taken orally. Signs of poisoning include indigestion, kidney problems, muscle twitching, weakness, loss of coordination, enlarged eye pupils, vomiting, diarrhea, depression, paralysis, and stupor. Accidental ingestion of horse chestnut requires prompt medical attention. Children are poisoned by drinking a tea made up of leaves and twigs or eating seeds. A word of caution for chestnut hunters who sleep in areas where both the horse chestnut and European chestnut trees grow. Don't trust a chestnut just because you found it near or under a sweet chestnut tree. It is not uncommon for these two trees to grow in close proximity to each other in city settings. Edible chestnuts always come from very spiky seed pods and always have a pointy end on the seed. 